I'm tired of Nina already, Jerry. So fast. She's a big mistake. Mistake or not, you just need to break her bad. She's a digging type, digging into my past. No, that's wrong. She's a bad market. She wants to be controlling. Oh no, she's still a kid. You play the game well, Tom. We are in control. That's the balance. The moment you're trying to control, you've lost control. I'm going to end it with her. No, don't. You need to show her who the boss is. Dive into her game and let her think she wins. If she asks about your past, feed her lies, bro. I don't know why, but I just feel off about this girl. She even knows about Sarah. How? I don't know. I'm tired of her already. It's really time to cut her off. But my mom, play this game. Let her fall deeply before you end things. The time invested already, it's got to pay. If I can cope with her, I will bear it a little. But if I can't, bro, she's off the hook. My man, come on. You can do it. Don't let her off easily. That will be doing her a favor, Tom. Look, I get it. She might be a handful. But think of it as a challenge. You're in control. Show her you're not one to be pushed around. You're right, Jerry. I shouldn't let her affect me this much. You're getting better at this day by day. It's just that Nina, she's so persistent. Always digging for information and trying to be in charge. Then it's time to change the game. Instead of ending things, make her think she's winning. But on your terms, if she asks about your past, feed her some creative stories that will keep her satisfied. I can be quite creative when I want to be. Maybe I can keep her busy with stories and that will give me some breathing room. Exactly, Tom. Keep the balance in your favor. And remember, it's all about maintaining control while letting her think she's calling the shot. I never knew our friendship would last this long. Same here. You know some friendship we even expected to last didn't. Yes. You remember my best friend back then? I don't even know where she is. Same here. Sometimes we just give positions to people in our life, but they don't deserve it. Like, why use the word best friend? Exactly. Because your friends that you call the best among your friends can just be the best at a particular time of your life. Yes, that's why we shouldn't rush or just give people positions in our lives. Very true. Good afternoon, Mrs. Jessica. How are you doing, our pretty princess? I'm fine, ma. Keep taking good care of yourself. I will. Thank you, ma. That's my daughter. Let me leave you guys to your conversation, mom. I'll be going out. I love Abigail for Dan. This is who Dan is going to marry. Dan? My daughter is already in a relationship with someone else. Dan is not into her. Let's not rush to give people position in our daughter's life. I'm just telling you what's going on. Let them date whoever they want to date. Dan is dating now, but in the end, they will end up together. Okay, I will say you said so. Abigail is perfect for him. You have a great daughter for my son. Why didn't I talk to you earlier? It's never too late. She'll be leaving today. Then you should go right away. She doesn't want to see me. Make her see you. I need the time of her flight. I'll surprise her at the airport. She can't leave, Dan. No, she won't leave. I'll stop her. I trust you. I'm glad you didn't end up like Jerry and Tom. <laughs> Those guys are something else. That reminds me. Abigail will be coming to the office today. Wow, finally she decided to walk into the lion's den. Yes, and the lucky thing about this lion den is that there is Daniel in the den. You got jokes, man. I just have these good social skills. Get you with the social skills. I just use my social skills to solve your love problem. Sometimes you can be wise, but it doesn't last long. Sometimes you can be wise, but it doesn't last long. When was the last time you lasted long at anything? I don't understand what you mean. <laughs> How will you understand when your wisdom don't last long? I know where you are going. Tread with care. Or what? Mr. Don't last long. You are taking this thing too far. Okay, sorry. I apologize. You are wise and your wisdom lasts long. Now you are talking. Thank you. But it still doesn't mean you last long. When is Abigail coming? I would love to see her before going to the airport. Hello? What do you want, Tom? I want you to hear me out. I have heard all the words in your mind and I know the value they hold is nothing. I understand how you feel. You think you do? Tom, you are a coward. It's only a coward that unlocks the heart of a woman and leaves her alone. Hear me out, Sarah. Oh, Tom, how thoughtful of you to call. I was just thinking how much I miss hearing excuses from you. Look, I know I'm messed up, but I want to make things right. Make things right. Oh, Tom, you have always been an expert at making things right. Like the time you promised not to hurt me and then did just that. Sir, I've been a fool and I, I admit it. But I've learned my lesson and I don't want to lose you. Really, Tom? And why is that? Is it because I am such a great addition to your collection of broken hearts? No, it's because you mean more to me than you could ever imagine. I love you, Sarah. 
love tom you don't have a heart i can never ever come back to you never you're not human you're a devil you're a judas please give me a chance to make things right you will never have the chance in your life god won't give you that chance don't ever call me again hello jerry baby sugar bunny the love of my life yes baby i made a reservation for us today please don't stress yourself baby don't go anywhere keep your mind intact think of only me i can't wait to see you tonight and my love i won't go through any stress i'll be going back home immediately after i drop this call you will yes i've got to listen to the love of my life i love you i love you more baby make sure you don't stress yourself too much don't let anything get into your mind i won't this is why i love you you're different from the other ladies you know how to take care of a man i don't know how much to take care of a man i just know how to take care of my baby you're so sweet i can't wait to see you tonight same here love all right see you later dear bye baby should i go in before coming back home at least i should say hi to gary since i already said i was coming since i'll be leaving immediately what is the use i'll just create another time to be here i'll go in instead i don't even need to be here becky tell me anything you want i'll do it for you i don't want anything from you stay becky you don't have to leave if you ever love me stay if you ever loved me let me go i can't do you know what it means to let you go i don't even know how that feels you get to know how it feels and you overcome it then let me come with you no don't you don't get it i don't want to sarah help me out here hmm dan don't please don't get involved sarah please okay you asked me to mean the words i say because whenever i say them i can't unsay them don't say anything you deciding to leave has you deciding to leave has said all you want to say leaving me alone in is hurtful and don't add words to it then what should i say if you don't want me to say a word don't say a word just stay stay a bit longer even if it's a week if i stay a week you'll ask for a month then stay for a day it won't change a thing it will for me then what after that i don't know after the day we'll know what it brings after i leave right now you also know what it brings it's today how is it going to be that's how it's meant to be who did you just finish speaking to on the phone my new fish you are still on this yes now even you tom yeah with everything that happened stop bringing up funny past stories the future is bright which future your future yes his future is bright it's very dark why would you say that with all these acts you need to fear god <laughs> I have a new fish, Gary. It was so hard to get her. It took prayers and hard work to make this work. Which prayer? Is it God or devil that answered your prayers? I don't think it's God though. It doesn't matter. I did pray and my prayers was answered. Now there is a big fish in front of me. I don't know why you are taking this big fish seriously. Like she's a big deal. You won't understand. It took me a lot of work. Why? I thought you were all charming. I am. It's just that it wasn't easy because I dated her friend and asked her out while dating her friend. It's not possible for her to agree to date you. Yes, you shouldn't go that route. You can get bounced. You see, that's the part I followed. And look, I got the girl. Not just the girl. I destroyed her relationship with her friend. And now they are fighting because of me. You are evil. Man, I think you are going to break my record. Damn, that's a bold step. I can't believe you guys. I have a day to prepare for, please. Gary, I don't want my mind spoiled. Your mind is already spoiled. I agree with that. Abigail, I must say you look absolutely stunning tonight. Thank you, Jerry. You are quite the charmer yourself. This place is amazing. You have great taste. I wanted to make tonight special for us. You deserve nothing but the best. To new beginnings and unforgettable moments. Abigail, I've been thinking about us lately. You make me want to be a better man. Jerry, you're already an amazing person. And making you a better man is a skill of mine. I've never met someone who makes me want to be a better man than I am. And this is just the beginning. I have big plans for us. What kind of plans are we talking about, Jerry? I can't reveal all my secrets yet. But I can promise you one thing. There will be more romantic evenings like this one. And many smiles on your face. I can't wait. You know, I feel a real connection with you, Jerry. It's like we've known each other for a long time. Abigail, that's because we are meant to be. I'm grateful to have you in my life. Same here. I want you to forget about all your wrongs and I'm your right. Forget about all your past relationships and I want you to behave like the woman you dream to be because I'm the man who will make your dreams a reality. Oh, you know, from the first day I saw you, I knew you were mine. Really? How did you know? I won't tell you. 
Okay, now you have secrets. Yes, I do. I've got a secret too. What is it? You want to know my secret? Why wouldn't I? I want to know yours too. No, I'm not telling you. But you better be ready to tell me your own secrets. Or we won't talk again. Like you know, I'm already tired of talking to you. You don't mean it. Yes, I do. You just don't want to talk. Because you know if you do, you end up exposing the secrets. How do you know? I have tactics and social skills like my brother does. Well, I still won't tell you. Talk before we end our relationship on our first dates. Wait, are you serious? 